Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's Scroll Saw project video, we're going to be cutting out a project from the Fall 2020 issue 80 of Scroll Saw and Woodworking Crafts magazine. I picked this up on my birthday at the Clingspore Woodworking Store, and the project we're going to do is located on page 26, and it is compound cut wizard wands or Harry Potter wands, if you want to call them that. It is three beautiful designs to choose from, and the pattern is designed by Al. Bagetta. I hope I'm pronouncing his last name right, but I do know that he has a website for patterns that's located in here, and I will leave a link to that down in the description box below if you want to go and check out his patterns. In the pattern pack that comes in this issue, there is three versions of the wands that we're going to be doing. There is the cloud wand, the amoeba wand, and the wizard's face wand, and there is the full size pattern that comes with the magazine that you can copy and print out. Over on my Instagram page I've already made two of the three wands and I'm going to do the third one here on video for you guys. The first one I made and posted over on my Instagram page was the wizard's face wand. It had some really nice detail in it and I really like how the wand kind of curves. Really shows like the look of like a wizard you know throughout the years. Really awesome and I made this one out of oak and then about a week ago I made the second wand out of a piece of mahogany and it is the cloud wand. The wand itself looks like clouds floating in the air. Really awesome. And then the third and final wand, which we're going to be making today on video, is the amoeba wand. Really awesome. It has some interior cuts in the handle, so I really think it's going to make a great characteristic for it. Again, this is scroll saw compound work, and what you want to do is make sure your blank is a perfect 90 all the way around. These are around one inch square strips and they can be made out of all types of exotic woods to give it a nice look. But right now what we're going to do is head over to the drill press, drill all the pilot holes needed and head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press we're going to take a small drill bit and drill all of the pilot holes for the internal cutting and then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades and they are cutting through the mahogany wood real good. Again there was three magic wands in the magazine pattern pack and this is the third and final one that I'm cutting out and this is the only one that had internal cuts the other two didn't have any but I used the same process I'm showing you here to cut out the other two just minus the interior cuts just gonna go through here and get all of the interior cuts in the magic wand and then we will proceed to release the wand from the main part of the wood. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. is now done and we're going to begin with the final cuts. The first one will release the one side of the wand and I'm just giving it nice even pressure and letting the blade do the work. And as you see we started with a pilot hole to keep everything in place. In the magazine article pattern pack there is also plans for a stand for these wands that's really neat but I'm just focusing on the magic wands in this video but there is a stand option available if you also want to cut that out coming around here to complete the one side and I will take it off of the scroll saw and this is something that I do you can totally skip this part I'm taking the piece out of the wood and you see the little burn mark there that will be removed with sanding and I'm just cleaning out all the excess sawdust. The sawdust can catch and 
make more burn marks and I remove those and then tape the piece back into the blank and head over to scroll out the other side and then when we do this cut it will fully release the wand from the wood again just nice even pressure and letting the blade do the work coming around here and now all of the scroll work is done and we will go back over to the workbench and finally remove the whole wand from the wood and there it is and we will go over to the belt sander and round it somewhat you can give it whatever kind of detail you like and I remove that burn mark and I give the handle sort of a rounded appearance I used a sand and sponge to clean it up and then I hung it on a wire you can give it two or three coats of spray lacquer and let that dry out in the sun and in the breeze and the project was complete and here we have the completed amiibo wand made out of mahogany wood over on the scroll saw there's a nice detailed shot of the handle with all the interior cuts it really just has an amazing design how it looks and how it feels in the hand. Um, I know if you're a cosplayer and you play w a witch or a wizard, this would be something you could comfortably hold in your hand all day and it not get cumbersome to hold or have around. Um, very lightweight. It took me around 25 minutes to cut this out from start to finish over on the scroll saw. The mahogany wood cut extremely well. I didn't break a blade. I just took my time with it. You saw the burn mark appear up here on the stem when I cut out the first side of it. I took care of that over on sanding and speaking of sanding you can sand and shape these any way you want to and just keep going and going farther and farther with the sanding process and higher and higher with the grits I lightly sanded it with 220 grit off camera but all in all it turned out real good and now I have all three magic wands designed by Al Baguetta again I hope I'm pronouncing his name right I will leave a link to his website down in the description box below but I have the amiibo wand the cloud wand and the wizard face wand. The wizard face wand was made out of oak and then the cloud wand was made out of another piece of mahogany. But I'm really excited to have these. I am a Harry Potter nerd. I love the whole magical world that J.K. Rowling created. And say what you want about them. I have never seen those books or the characters as evil or nothing like that the way people sometimes interpret it. The moral of the story is love always wins and triumphs over evil. And J.K. Rowling done what thousands of authors could not do, and she got an entire generation of youth to pick up a book and read, and how amazing is that? Um, I'm from that generation. I remember going to the release parties and having fun at those with friends that also liked the book series, but now I have my own three magic wands out here in the workshop, just in time for fall and Halloween coming up right around the corner. That is about all for this video, and I hope you guys like it. And also, before I leave you guys on this video, you will notice that the sticker swap sticker wall has once again enlarged to accept more amazing stickers. So that's always cool. That wall is always evolving and growing with the networking. And that's just a wall of inspiration for me, guys. But remember, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.